working. Now the next thing is, like I showed you before, sometimes Snapchat for some reason gives you this type of error and it's very weird, I never understood it, but it's basically an error where it says could not connect. Now I talked about this on my second channel yesterday, but basically this is a very common issue as well. A lot of people run into this. It's not uncommon. And basically what this is and the best way to kind of break it down is typically kind of to give you a lesson. Snapchat runs on Wi-Fi, it runs on internet, it runs on data. If you don't have a connection to those things, then typically you're going to have problems. You're not going to be able to actually successfully go and log into Snapchat, log into Twitter, log into whatever. So Snapchat is no different. It's an app and needs internet. And you want to test and make sure that your internet is working on your phone, your iPad, your tablet, or whatever, before you actually go and try to connect to a Snapchat account. So a great way to do this is go into your settings. You want to go ahead and just look to your Wi-Fi settings, your data, and make sure that you have bars. If you have, you know, good signal, then you'll probably be set. If you're on airplane mode, you want to get off airplane mode, obviously. So as you can see, I am connected to a Wi-Fi network. Now, the next thing I would recommend doing is going and loading up any website. You can load up whatever I loaded up here, the Snapchat logo, or you can load up apple.com, whatever website. And you want to make sure you're actually able to load up that website as efficiently and as fast as possible. If it takes like 30 minutes to load up a website, then you already know what the issue is. It's your internet or your Wi-Fi or your data. You probably don't have a good cell signal. So if you're able to load up a website and everything and you're still able to log in, then you're set, then you're perfect. If for some reason you're not able to log in anymore, then the best thing to do again, as I said before, open up your app store, open your, open your play store, whatever, and you want to go ahead and see if there's an update available for your Snapchat app. If there is, then you already know what to do. You want to go ahead and update it. If there isn't, then this could typically mean that Snapchat is down and there could be an error associated with Snapchat right now. Now this happens all the time, it's not unfrequent. It literally happens more times than anybody could count on one hand. And it's very annoying, but this is pretty much what we have to live with. So Snapchat servers may be down. You can look in the comment section of this video. You can search it on Twitter. It's probably gonna be trending, Snapchat is down there. So you probably just have to wait until Snapchat fixes it. So that's typically how you can go ahead in a couple ways fix that Snapchat error where Snapchat could not be connected to or whatever the case is.